I'm Allison with the Long Haunt Recreation Center, and today we're going to do a little bit of yoga. And I thought that today would be a really good day, while the world seems to be kind of crazy out there, a really good day to kind of ground ourselves and to make sure that we are safe, we are okay, and we are grounded here. So let's start in a standing position. Find your mat, and then come to a nice standing position with your feet parallel and hip distance apart. And hip distance apart is about two fists width apart. So it's not this, it's not this. Hip distance apart, about two fists width apart. And then take a moment and just look down at your feet and maybe move your toes a little bit. Wiggle your toes around. And then really plant down through your feet. And feel the earth there. It's holding you, it's supporting you. It's stable, and you're okay here. Start to close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And you may feel yourself shifting around in your feet a little bit. That's okay. A few shifts are just fine. The earth still supports us. We still have this stability. And then travel up. Maybe notice your knees. Soften your knees. We don't want them locked out. We don't want them bent. Just keep them soft. And then travel up to your thighs. Maybe gently squeeze your thighs, squeeze your hips. Feel that solid muscle all the way through the bottom part of your body. And then roll your shoulders back and down. And maybe allow your palms to face forward or face in, whatever seems to feel better for your shoulders. And finally, imagine that you're like a marionette doll and someone's pulling you up through the crown of your head. You're grounded and you're lengthening tall. And now bring your awareness to your breath. Breathe in and out of your nose. You've been breathing all day. How many times have you actually checked in with your breath? Notice it now. Feel your inhales, feel your exhales. Find three more breaths here. You are safe. You are healthy. And you are present. And let's breathe together. Inhale, lift your arms above your head. Reach up to the sky, stretch tall. Exhale, slowly let your arms slow down and bring your chin towards your chest. Good, inhale, lift your arms above your head, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, slowly let your arms slow down, bring your chin towards your chest. Three more here, inhale, each breath being a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. Full exhale, let that go. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, lift, reach, and stretch, and exhale, slowly let your arms slow down. Awesome, inhale, lift your arms above your head this time, and interlock your fingers, release just your index fingers, stretch tall, and then tick tock, right and left, right and left. Just moving it a little bit side to side here, stretching it out. Maybe you've been sitting at home a lot, and so you need to kind of move a little side to side. Or maybe your kids are driving you crazy at home and you need to move side to side. Whatever it is, we can all move a little bit today. And then go ahead and release your arms all the way down. Give yourself a nice big shoulder roll. Good, and then take your right arm and make big circles. And I'm recording this, so I have no idea if this is gonna be mirrored or not. So right and left is up to you today. <laughs> Let's move in the opposite direction. And other side, big circles. 
Good, other direction. Nice, inhale, lift your arms above your head, reach up, grab a hold of your right wrist and stretch up tall and exhale, lean to your left. Good, maybe gently push your hips over to the side a little bit more and keep stretching a little bit longer towards the side. Good, inhale, rise up, grab a hold of that left wrist, stretch up, and then exhale, lean over to the right. If you come to my classes, you know I'm right, left challenged, so even more so today. <laughs> Good, inhale, lift it up. Now interlock your fingers, bring your hands behind your head, and just cradle your hands behind your head and bring your elbows together, and then open. Good, together, open. Together, open, one more time, together, open, pause, cradle your head in your hands, inhale, lift your chest up, look up, reach your heart up towards the sky. Good, find your breath, inhale, and exhale, inhale, slowly rise up, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your arms down. Good. Shoulder roll. Awesome. All right, bring your hands to your hips, and I just want you to make some hip circles here. Try and keep your upper body still as you move. Good. And then how about in the opposite direction? Move it around. Good. Awesome. All right. Shake it out. Okay, go ahead and come to the long edge of your mat and step your feet nice and wide. And if you don't have a mat, that's okay. You really don't need one. Let's turn our toes out towards the sides. Inhale, lift your arms above your head. And exhale, squat down, goddess pose. And let's just move a little side to side here. We're just kind of warming up the legs a bit. Moving into our hips our thighs. Good. Pause in the center. Turn your palms towards each other. Big inhale. Exhale, sink a little lower. Lift the right heel. Feel that heat building in the legs. I know, maybe a little bit of a burn. It's going to be okay. Release the right heel. Lift the left heel. Pause. Great work for our ankles, for our feet. Release. Okay, now if you're ready, both up. Pull. It's okay if you fall. Balance is really hard on carpet. If you're on carpet right now, it's gonna be okay. Good, release your heels, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your arms down, shoulder roll. Good, all right, inhale, arms up. Same thing, exhale, goddess squat. Now this time, turn your palms towards me. Take an inhale, exhale, palms down, maybe to the back of the room, and then inhale up. And exhale, down and back. Inhale up. Exhale, down and back. Inhale up. Two more, exhale. Sink a little lower, inhale. Last time, exhale. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your arms down. Once again, shoulder roll. Okay, one more. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, goddess squat. Again, palms face towards me. Now, big breath in. Exhale, palms and elbows touch. Squeeze through your chest. Then inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Oh, feel that heat. Inhale, lift. Ex or inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, hands to hips. Great work, you guys. Turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat. All right, so toes turn in a little bit. Roll your shoulders down and back. Big breath in, reach your arms up. And bend your knees slightly, exhale, forward fold. Oh my goodness. Ooh. First forward fold of the day. So I'm gonna keep looking at the camera. But this is not an ideal position for your neck. I just want to make sure you can hear me. So I want to make sure that you keep your head down. 
Maybe you even want to shake your head yes and no. Maybe you're gently bending your knees side to side. Whatever seems to feel good for you. I'm going to turn to the side for us. Good. All right. Place your left hand under your face and then inhale, lift your right arm up. Reach up to the sky. Good. Nice little twist here for the spine. Full inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Nice. Turn your toes out to the sides a little bit. And then bend your right knee. Walk your hands over towards your right foot. And you should feel a pretty good stretch in this left inner thigh here. Okay? Maybe even into that right hip a bit. And then let's walk ourselves over towards the left foot. Good. Big stretch on the right inner thigh. Man, I even feel the top of my foot stretching here. Maybe you do too, maybe not. We're all gonna feel a little different sensation. Good, and then over to the other side. And over to the other side. So I want you to go side to side. Move at your own pace. And if you can't touch the ground, you can always bring your hands to a chair as you move side to side as well. So that can sometimes feel really nice. Just working into these hips, working into these inner thighs. Great job, you guys. Let's go one more time to each side. Oh, this feels so good. I've been sitting so much. Good, and then let's bring it to the center. All right, turn your toes in once again. Hands come to hips. Strong abs. Inhale, rise up. Awesome. Bring your feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Nice job, give it a little shake. Take a big breath in. So let's actually come to the front of our mat. So you're facing forward, not the long end anymore. Now inhale, big breath in. Bend your knees. Exhale, hands to heart, chair pose. Sit down into a low chair. Weight stays in the heels. Maybe you can even wiggle your toes around. And then from here, connect your belly to your thighs. And then maybe hands to ground or hands to shins. Lift your hips up. And then bend your knees forward and back, forward and back. So allow your hands to connect to something. I don't want you just dangling here in space. Try and connect your hands to something, even your thighs work. And really get your hips involved in this movement. Let them move. Relax any tension in your neck and shoulders, which they're probably feeling tense if you're anything like me. <laughs> Good, release your hands down. Inhale, half lift. So hands to the shins or thighs. Long spine, so I don't want this. Long spine. Take another inhale. Exhale, release. Step your left leg straight back and just pause here. And just move forward and back over these toes a little bit. Good. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Climb your hands up your thighs. Squeeze your left butt cheek and gently push your hip forward so you feel a nice stretch here in the front of your left hip. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale up, exhale cactus, inhale up, exhale cactus, inhale up, exhale hands to the mat. Good. Lift your back knee, plant your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Then bring your right elbow to your thigh and stack your left shoulder on top of your right. Good, and just pause here for a moment. Finding the side angle pose. Sweep your left arm up, and then make big arm circles here. Up and down. Good, opposite direction. Nice, 
Lift that arm straight up to the sky. Strong abs here. Inhale, slowly rise up. Beautiful, good work you guys. Palms, shoulders relax down and back. Feel that heat build in that right leg? Oh yeah, should feel good. Whenever you need to though, you can come in and out of it. And always make sure that your knee is behind your toes, okay? Flip your front palm. Actually, turn your palm down, change my mind. Give yourself a nice shoulder roll. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, left palm touches the right. Inhale, shoot your bow and arrow. Left hand comes back, right arm up. And allow that left hand to come down to the thigh. And you can all thank Andrea, who's one of our teachers here for this move. I love that warrior pose. I love that pulling of the arrow and this big stretch to the right side body. Take another full inhale. Exhale, come back to your warrior two. Good, soft shoulder roll. Reach your right arm forward, take an inhale breath. Exhale, windmill your hands down, lift your back heel. Step your right leg straight back so you're in your first plank. Okay, now if you come to my classes, you know I love plank. We're gonna hold here. This is a strong movement, y'all. So if you need to, drop down to your knees. Keep your core really strong. If you have any low back pain in this pose, you also need to drop down to your knees. Otherwise, you can stay up on your toes here and then tap the right knee, lift, left, lift, right, lift, left, lift. Keep going. If you're on your knees, you just lift alternate legs. And this is the part during class where I usually stand up and walk around and check form because this is hard. But now I actually have to do it with you. Oh my goodness. All right, big inhale. Hug the elbows in, drop down to your knees, lower down for six, five, four, three, two, one, three cobras. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Reach your arms back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Reach your arms wide. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good. Hands under your shoulders. Actually, let's bring forearms to the ground. Inch from your booty up. Then place one hand to the ground and then the other. Tuck your toes and lift your hips high, down dog. Shake it out. Let your head hang. Let your hips move side to side. Find your breath. Remember, your breath is with you all day, every day. It is your constant companion. So come back to it whenever you need to. Let's slightly bend your knees and slowly walk your feet forward so you come into your forward fold. Allow your upper body to hang. Bend your knees. Sit your butt back. Connect your belly to thighs, hands to heart, lift your chest. And then use your strong, powerful legs. Push yourself all the way up. And exhale, release. Nice work. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Good. Just let the arms open. Gently draw that left, the right hip forward. And then lift the arms up. Exhale, opposite direction twist. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair, hands to heart. Sit down, weight is in the heels, maybe lift your toes. And then connect your belly to your thighs, hands either to the ground or the shins, lift your hips, forward fold. Nice, this time step your right foot straight back, pause and just move forward and back over your toes. So we're doing the same sequence on the other side. You already know all these moves, nothing new for you. Let's drop the back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Good, exhale, release your hands to your hips. Squeeze your right butt cheek, gently push your hips forward. Feel a big stretch here through the front of your right hip flexor. Ooh, find your balance. <laughs> all right, now inhale, reach your arms straight up. 
Then exhale, reach them straight out in front of you, palms down. Inhale, squeeze your elbows back. And exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release your hands to the mat. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Plant your back foot 45 degree angle. Then elbow to thigh. Stack your right shoulder on top of your left and reach that right arm up. Good. I'm just turning around. Now, once again, big arm circles. Big arm circles here. Opposite direction. Good. And then reach this arm straight up. Draw your belly in. Inhale, rise up. Nice, good. Warrior two. Really plant through the back foot and really push into the outside edge of the back foot so you find the stability underneath you. This earth is here and it is supporting you right now. It's okay. Even though everything around may seem like it's shifting and moving and changing and that's really scary, this place right here, right now, in your body, on this mat, is constant and steady. It's here. Take a full inhale. Exhale, back hand draws to the front. Inhale, draw your bow and arrow. Reach the left arm up, right hand to the back thigh and down the back leg. Big stretch through the left side of your body. Big inhale here. Full exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, come back to the center. Reach your left arm forward, stretch long here. Full inhale, exhale, release your hands to the mat. Nice, step your left leg straight back, plank pose. Soft elbows, so nothing is locked, soft elbows. Knees drop if you need to. Full inhale, full exhale, now this time, Right toes out, bring them in. Left toes out, bring them in. You can do this from your knees as well. Most importantly is that you have no pain in your low back. So even if you need to be in an all fours position to do this, that is more important than causing yourself any pain. It shouldn't hurt to feel better. <laughs> Find your breath. I know, don't hold it, it's easy to hold it. Keep breathing. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your knees down unless you can do it without them or on the toes. Hug your elbows in. Lower 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Reach your arms back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release, reach your arms wide. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release, hands under shoulders. This time, inch from your booty up. Yep, I know it's weird. Use your upper body strength. Push away from the ground. Tuck your toes, hips high, down dog. Shake that. Again, come back to your breath. Come back to your inhales. Come back to your exhales. They are your constant companion. So give them the attention that they deserve. And then slide them through your knees and slowly start to walk your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply. Inhale, push yourself up. Reach and stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart, sit chair. Connect your belly to your thighs, and then hands to the ground, lift your hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Left leg steps straight back. Exhale, knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift your back knee. Exhale, plant the back foot. Right elbow to thigh. Inhale, stack your left arm. Reach your left arm up. Weave your arm up, make big arm circles. Once again, opposite direction. Use your strong abs. Inhale, draw yourself up. Pause for an exhale. Inhale, sweep your back arm forward. Exhale, draw your bow and arrow. Full inhale breath to the right ribs. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Step your right leg straight back, plank. Shift your weight forward, exhale, lower. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. However you want to get there. I'm showing just one example. We'll pause in this down dog. And if the down dog doesn't feel good for your wrists or shoulders, you can always come into your child pose. Bend your knees slightly, look up between your hands. Slowly walk or hop your feet up between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, connect your belly to thighs, hands to heart, lift your chest. And then push yourself all the way up. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale up. Exhale, open arm twist, other side. Inhale up. Other side. Exhale, hands to heart, chair. Connect your belly to your thigh. Hands to the ground, lift your hips. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This time, right leg goes straight back. Exhale, knee to the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down to, uh, parallel to the ground. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Lift your back knee. Plant your back foot. Left elbow to thigh, inhale, right arm comes up, and big arm circles. Opposite direction. Good, strong core, inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, draw your bow and arrow. Full exhale here. Inhale, breathe into the left ribs. Full exhale. Windmill your hands all the way down. Lift your back heel. Left leg goes straight back through your plank. And then slowly lower. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Your choice. And then exhale, downward facing dog. However you want to get there. Strong core, strong arms. And then rest. Not that this is a resting pose. I find it quite challenging, actually. So if you really need a full resting pose, find your child's pose. Bend your knees slightly. Look up between your hands. And then slowly walk or hop your feet up between your hands. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, hands to heart, lift your chest, chair, and then push yourself all the way up. And exhale, release. Great work, you guys. All right, so we're gonna move into a little bit of a balancing sequence now. So I want you to spread your right toes nice and wide on the ground. Maybe just look down, down at your feet. They're quite amazing things, actually. We keep them trapped in socks and shoes all day, but they're actually pretty cool. They carry us around all the time and we're not very nice to them. So look down, just appreciate your foot. And then take your left foot, place it on top of your right. Good, just here for right now, because I would like for you to open your knee and close. Open and close. Two more times, just to really get this hip nice and open. Also working our glute medius. Good, now pause. And maybe your toes tap the ground. Maybe you wanna rest them on your calf. Maybe inner thigh. Maybe all the way up in front. Whatever seems to work for you for your tree pose. As you hold here, try not to jut into that hip. I want you to squeeze this right butt cheek and lift yourself up. Can you feel yourself grow taller? Hands come to heart. And find your focus point. Find your steady gaze. Something stationary that can help hold your attention. Notice your breath. And then slowly bring your knee back to center. Release that down. Shake it out. Nice. Let's try the other side. So spread your left toes nice and wide. Once again, say thank you, feet. Thank you. And then take your right foot, place it on top of your left. And let's just start by open and draw. It. Open and close. Open, close. Once more, open and close. Good. Open the knee and find the place that feels most comfortable for your foot. Avoid the other knee area. You don't want to do that. Okay. Once again, no hip jutting. Squeeze the butt, lift tall, hands to heart. Find your focus point. Find your steady gaze. Right now it feels like our whole world is a little off balance. So I encourage you to find some kind of steady point in your life, some kind of habit. We're in this transition phase of going from one routine to a new routine. So what is one thing that you can keep steady that's consistent? And maybe it's new, maybe it's different. Maybe it's just keeping the same time that you wake up every day. Maybe it's now calling a friend every day at noon or right after work. Find one steady thing and allow that to be your anchor throughout the next few weeks of unsteadiness. Find one more breath. Full exhale. Draw your knee in and then slowly release. Shake it out. Great work. Now, that's not the only balance. I love balance. We have one more balancing sequence. Bring your arms out in front like so. And let me start by bring your palms together and your elbows to touch. Now this is your first choice. You can stay right here. Or maybe place your left arm under your right back of your hands or your palms touch. This is obviously the most advanced version. The other version is to wrap yourself in a giant bear hug because we could all use more hugs right now. So wherever you are, make some circles here with your arms. Opposite direction. Feel a nice stretch there through the back of your shoulders, your upper back. Good, and then go ahead, find your pause point. Nice, and then sit down into your chair. Lift your elbows up, and then take your left leg, wrap it over your right. Now, maybe the toes tap the ground, Maybe you squeeze through your thigh and you try and hook your foot behind your calf. Whatever it looks like, draw your belly in, keep your chest lifted, and then try and sit down a little bit lower. Good. 
Awesome. Find your steady gaze once again. And then slowly unwrap your leg. Keep your arms. Kick the leg straight back. Warrior three with eagle arms. We're a flying eagle. And then slowly lift this left leg up. Ankle over thigh. Unwrap your arms. Sit down into a chair. Feel a nice stretch here through your left butt cheek. Keep the foot flexed. And then slowly rise up and release the left foot down. Whew. Give it a shake. Nice work. Okay, time for the other side. Let's start with the shoulder stretch. So palms touch, elbows touch, or right arm underneath the left, back of your hands or your palms touch, or giant bear hug, opposite arm and on top. And then once again, circles. Opposite direction. Good, and then go ahead, find your center place, whatever that is. Sit down into your chair. Good, keep your elbows lifted, strong abs. Lift your right leg over the left. Squeeze your legs together. Maybe the toes tap the ground, or maybe you're trying to hook your foot behind your calf. Whatever seems to work for you. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Keep your chest lifted. Draw your belly in. Good work, y'all. Find your inhales, find your exhales. Now slowly unwrap your leg, extend the right leg straight back, warrior three. Keep your abs drawing in. I know, it's hard, especially if you're on carpet. Carpet makes it way worse. Good, now lift the right leg straight up, standing staff, and then ankle over thigh, sit your butt down. Release your arms, hands to heart. Ha, ah, big stretch right butt cheek. And then slowly rise up and release the right leg down. Nice, shake it out. Oh, okay, good work you guys. I think we're done standing. So I hope you feel nice and solid and strong here on the earth. We're gonna take it down a little bit lower, which will be even more grounding actually. So from the front of your mat, inhale, lift your arms up, bend your knees and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step both feet back for your plank. All right, now it's your option, guys. What do you want to do? Do you want to hold your plank? Do you want to move through your flow? Do you want to drop down child's pose? It's your choice. I'm going to move through my flow. You do whatever works for you. I'm going to shift forward, drop my knees, hug the elbows in, and lower. Then I'm going to do a cobra. And then I'm going to find a downward facing dog. Whatever seems to work. Whenever you're here, let's all drop down to our knees. Child's pose. See, this is where we all end. So, knee, toes together, knees either together or apart, whatever feels best for your hips. Then extend your arms out front and bring the palms to touch. Then bend your elbows, walk your elbows forward more and then bring your thumbs to the back of your neck. I hope you guys can hear me under this little eggshell thing. Walk your elbows forward more and see if you can feel a big stretch under here in your lats. Your lats are these cool muscles. They connect from your arm all the way down to your pelvis. They're like huge muscles. So this probably feels like a pretty big, maybe a pretty intense stretch. Just big, big muscles. Good, release your arms out in front. Inhale, draw yourself forward. Kick your feet around and come seated. All right, bring your feet down to the mat. Reach your arms out in front. Now, strong core here. Shoulders roll back and down. And as slow as you can go, lower down. I challenge you to go slower than me. And no, you cannot fast forward. 
Try and go slower than me. Your goal is to go down after I do. Oh my gosh, I'm trying really hard. Ooh. Ah, okay, now we can all pause. And then whenever you're ready, windshield wiper your knees side to side. around and grab. And I would rather that you keep your shoulders on the ground than do this, okay? So you can always look around, grab a towel or some kind of strap and you and weave it through. Oh, I like to use a sweatshirt because they have really long arms. So I'll weave a sweatshirt through my legs and hold on to the sweatshirt. And it can act as a strap. We don't need fancy yoga props at all. Sweatshirts work really great. Sweatshirts and towels. So hopefully you feel this really big stretch here through your right butt cheek. Take two more breaths. Slowly release your feet down. Good. Release your right leg. And if you'd like, maybe windshield wiper your knees a little side to side. And let's explore the other side. Left ankle to right knee. Let's start just by taking the left hand, maybe gently opening up the knee. And then as you feel ready, maybe lift your legs. Reach through and grab onto your right knee. Notice how this hip feels compared to the other side. Often our hips have a lot, our hips and our shoulders, we can feel really big differences side to side. I know before my hip surgery, I had hip surgery on my right hip, before my hip surgery, there was a huge difference. And then after my hip surgery, oh my gosh, there was an even bigger difference side to side. And so over time, our goal is to balance the sides to find that symmetry as best we can from side to side. So if one side is a lot tighter than the other, it's fine, that's normal, it's life. But our goal is to come back to the mat every day and to find the symmetry, to work just one more micro inch towards that symmetry between the sides. Take two more breaths. And slowly release your feet down to the mat. Extend your left leg all the way down and hug your right knee in. Fold your hands, place them over your right shin and just give your ankle a little twirl. Maybe move it in the opposite direction. Nice, and then go ahead, extend your legs straight up into the air, grabbing the back of your thigh. Once again, this is where sweatshirts can really come in handy, sweatshirts or a towel. Maybe flex and point your toes. Good, and then slowly release your leg. Flex your foot, strong leg. And slowly let your leg float down. Keep your abs drawing in. Nice. And then other side. Left knee draws in. Hands over the shin. And roll your ankle around. Give yourself some 
Love for your feet. Opposite direction. Good, and then extend your legs straight up into the air. Once again, grab that towel or sweatshirt if you need it. Flex your toes back toward your face so you feel more of a stretch there through your hams, through your calf muscle too. Nice. Take another two breaths. And then slowly release your leg. Keep the leg perfectly straight, abs drawing in, and slowly release six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, plant your feet down on the mat. Open your arms wide into a big T position. And then lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Make a tabletop with your shins. Strong core, gently drop your legs to the right. Don't let them touch. And then lift your legs up to center. Draw up your legs over to the left. Don't let them touch. Lift your legs up. Go side to side just a few more times. Really engage through your abdominal muscles. Use your abs for this work, not your lower back. One more time each side. And then slowly drop your knees all the way over to the right and let them float to the ground. Now, it's your choice here. Maybe you wanna put something in between your knees, especially if you feel any kind of like burning or shooting pain here in your SI joint. Maybe you wanna just place something under both knees. You don't have to go all the way to the ground if you don't want to. Try and keep your left shoulder grounded. And then maybe gaze past the fingertips of your left hand. Find this twist in your spine. Notice your breath now. Now that we're reaching towards the end of our class, notice if it's changed at all. And then slowly lift your leg. Lift the left leg up, and then the right leg follows. Strong abs, drop your legs over to the left. Good. And then maybe gently draw or push your right shoulder down. Once again, maybe a blanket or a pillow underneath the knees or in between the knees. And then gaze over your right shoulder. slowly lift the right leg up and then the left. Take a few moments, find any other stretches that you would like. And then begin to make yourself comfortable on your mat. For our final Shavasana, our final relaxation, the whole entire class has been in preparation for this. This is the hardest pose of class. It's the time that I invite you to rest. And that's not something a lot of us do very easily. So let your palms face up, your toes drift to the sides, and then close your eyes. Begin to notice your breath now. Is it slower? 
Is it fuller or deeper? How does it compare to your breath just a few minutes ago? your breath moving in and out of your nose. And then visualize your nose as a triangle. Each nostril is a side of the triangle and those sides meet at the point between the eyebrows. Visualize your breath moving up the left side of the triangle and exhale down the right side of the triangle. Inhale up the left side of the triangle. Exhale down the right. for several more rounds of breath. focused and steady. And then slowly start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Begin to gently wake up your body. Maybe gently move your head a little side to side. And then finally, give yourself a nice, deep, good morning stretch. Oh. And slowly roll over to one side. And then push yourself up to a seated position. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. Let's take one more breath. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Lift up the sky, find your smile, wear it the rest of the day. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for taking the time to do something so great for yourself. Find the steadiness today and for the next several weeks. I honor you as I honor myself. Namaste.